So when I keep referring to um, TRA movement as being lesbophobic and homophobic, um, make like lesbophobic is the one I'm going to focus on today. Um, in my in my feminist journey, like you know, into radical feminism, etc., I have found a lot of lot of sisters, like lesbian sisters, who you know I, I would I'm in their corner. One of the things that just disgusted me the most was the fucking the blatant persecution and and abuse and fucking assaulting of like lesbians by the trans activists. It's just it's fucking rampant. And so in the description I'll put a couple of links to a couple of sites um and to a couple of YouTube clips um talking about this but if basically if you do a search, do a search on, on you know Google or whatever or in Twitter for the cotton ceiling or on YouTube. Now what's happening is trans activists are deciding that they're women, right? Basically they this is like the majority of the ones that are doing this, or almost all of them, are essentially the heterosexual fucking heterosexual men that are keeping their dicks. They've just decided that there are women, and like this whole movement's allowing them to like be, you know, to get away with that, say that they're women, even with their penis. And then they're trying to then because they're they're heterosexual males, they're deciding that they're they're lesbians, right? And then they're going to lesbian spaces and calling lesbians bigots and transphobes because lesbians aren't interested in girl dick right now the cotton ceiling how that 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 name came about is it's a trans activist term um is you know how the old glass ceiling like women could only get so high and you, you know and then there was that glass ceiling and they couldn't get further in corporate life etc well the cotton ceiling is basically they, they came up with that term because they were trying to find ways to get around the cotton ceiling, which is the cotton ceiling being the cotton of the lesbian's pants. They're trying to get into her panties. That's the cotton ceiling. <laughs> That's where they're being fucking oppressed and shit by, by you know, these bigoted lesbians who don't want girl dick, well, you know, aren't interested in dick, right? And it's just, it's fucking disgusting. The, the kind of vitriol and shit, and there's no like, and so these poor young girls now, if you're you know, you're realizing that you're questioning your sexuality or realizing that you might be like les a lesbian, right? There's no safe place for you. If you go to the LGBT or whatever groups, you're gonna get told that if you're not, if you don't, if you don't find not interested in girl dick, you're gonna get told you're a fucking bigot. <laughs> How the fuck is that? Oh my god, it's fucking pathetic.